G'day, this is Ben from Implements Direct and today I'm showing you guys the Sierra PTO log saw. This is three point linkage mounted and PTO driven. It features a 700mm tungsten tipped blade uh, with a maximum cutting diameter of 240mm. Some of the other features of the saw fully enclosed belt drive fully enclosed blade there is a fixed stay on the table to hold it in the transport position just a matter of lifting that the blade is now fully enclosed and the log can be inserted into the cradle when you push the cradle the log is then fed through the blade and the offcut of timber falls off this side. There are several well thought out ideas with this saw. It's got a home for the spanner for undoing the blade. On the other side it's got a locking pin to insert to lock the blade when you're taking it off. A cover sealing the PTO shaft a handle which goes in place of your top link. Now this means that you can lift one end of the saw and wheel it around. And here is the log gauge. This can be slid out and this will lock in whatever position that you desire to set your log length. So every piece of firewood is cut the same length and will fit through the doorway of your fire. As you can see there is a riveted aluminium strip there, a sacrificial strip, so if the blade teeth do touch anything it's only going to be soft aluminium and not steel. This is the return spring. This returns the, the cradle into the loading position so the blade is not exposed while you're putting logs in there. Uh, this is a really good safety feature. The whole blade is covered when, um, when while you're loading. Uh, there's an extendable support here for uh, longer bits of timber that's about as far out as it goes. Uh, that'll easily support a four or five foot uh, length of timber and you can um, you know handle that size of, of log quite easily. The thing you'll notice is the indentations or, 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 or teeth on the table. These are in both sides in both directions. Um, to prevent a log, a round log, from spinning. This is a fully enclosed belt drive. This is driven from the PTO on the tractor through to a gearbox and shaft, pulleys, belts and up to the blade. I've now installed the PTO shaft. As you can see there is a built-in safety chain to, with a carabiner to hook onto your cover. This is welded onto the frame of the saw so you will never lose it. Also another feature the top link pin is also ch chained onto there so you can't lose that and the same with the R clip for the locking of that. Also the cover for the PTO that we showed you before is chained and held on. Carabine is both ends again so you don't lose it. Same with this locking pin for the blade also chained on. So this saw is on a 30 horsepower John Deere. You can run it on a tractor from sort of 18 horsepower upwards. Um, it comes with the PTO shaft. It's got category one lower pins, uh, a dual category top link pin. And uh, if you were gonna fit it on a category two tractor, you would have to add bushes onto the lower pins. As you can see, everything is fully enclosed and it's a very safe design. It also should be noted that you need to wear uh, personal protection equipment such as earmuffs, glasses, safety boots and read the operator's manual before using it.
So as you can see, that's only taken a couple of minutes and there's a fairly big pile of wood there. That's uh, all tea tree or kanuka. Um, it's all fairly hard and dry uh, from a, a, a standing dead tree that um, is going to be used in a, uh, a wood burning range. So it's been cut up very short, only about seven or eight inches long. So that's the Sierra PTO log saw. As you can see, it made short work of all that wood. Mm -hmm. 